So one of my viewers commented on my original video on the Oracle flush mount taillights for the Jeep Gladiator that DK's garage had a fix for the gap between the taillight and the body that a lot of people complain about. So I really appreciate the fact that uh, Cody Color uh, provided that comment. It, it really does help people out when folks point out fixes to issues. So I really appreciate it. And I do appreciate DK's garage uh, for doing uh, or for catching that and uh, doing his video on it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try his fix and we'll see how it goes. All right. So I've done the video on my Oracle taillight install on the Jeep Gladiator. I really like the taillights. They, they look good. Um, much less likely to get ripped off the, the vehicle and uh, they function really well. But uh, we've had a few viewers that uh, have complained about the gap between the body of the Jeep and the light itself. I don't think it's that big of a deal to me. It hasn't really bothered me that much. Uh, trust me, these gaps between the, the fenders, especially on the front, are a lot worse for collecting debris and causing issues than that gap. I haven't had any issue with it. But one of my uh, viewers commented that uh, DK's Garage did a video that showed how to fix this. So today I'm going to attempt his fix and we'll see how that goes. All right, so I got the tailgate opened. Remove the two bolts here. And pop the, the tail light off. So what DKS Garage said is these posts are longer than the posts on the original tail lights. And they go into these two rubber cups here, which aren't actually just grommets, it's actually a little cup on the back, which prevents the tail light from sliding all the way up. And you have to take those off and you have to cut them off on the the end so that the post will actually slide through and allow it to seat up further. So let me go ahead and pull those out and see uh, what we can see. So, and he was absolutely correct, although it looks like it's a uh, broken through a little bit on the tip, but maybe by removing the, the entire tip will allow that uh, to push all the way through. So hold on just a sec, I'll get something to cut this with. So that will allow it to push all the way through. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall that one and I'm gonna pull the other one out and make the same mod. All right. Go ahead. Snug up these bolts. All right. 
So that's nice and snug. Let's see what difference it made. So there might still be a, a little gap here, a little gap here along the top. It does seem to have gotten a little closer there. So I think that's fine. Uh, like I said, the gap didn't bother me anyways, but I think that is an easy fix. And so I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. And I call it a day. So I completed the fix on both sides of the vehicle. I get, you know, the same same thing. I got a slight gap here at the top. It's a little flusher here. Slight gap on the bottom. But I'm not sure that it's a huge improvement, but then I didn't think it was a huge problem. So I think it's well worth the time if you're doing a a new installer even if you've installed them it takes just uh, a couple of minutes to go ahead and remove those and cut those cups off and, and reinstall so I think it's uh, it's a good fix I really think uh, DK's garage for uh, actually doing that video that's fantastic and uh, I'm gonna put mine up so that uh, other folks have a better chance of seeing it with multiple videos about the same topic I know that some people have been very concerned with it Others don't seem to care. I fall into the group that I don't really care, but hey, why not? Thanks for watching. So as you could tell, not a major improvement, but it snugged it up just a little bit. Uh, as I said, I really do appreciate uh, folks that uh, make comments that uh, are helpful to the community. Uh, I think that's fantastic. So thanks for DK's Garage for posting the original fix. It's great if you don't uh, follow him now, go ahead and subscribe. I just did. Uh, useful information is sometimes hard to come by. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see my future content, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.